hello guys welcome and uh, in this video i'll be giving you a quick introduction to functions okay now what is a function a function is simply a set of logic or a block of code or set of instructions that you want to run in your application at different point in time okay so now instead of you repeating a particular set of logic you just store it in a function and run it whenever you want to run it okay and this is a, a principle called dry okay or this supports a principle called dry do not repeat yourself so that's don't repeat yourself okay so you don't need to start writing console the log log my name is amina and you come and write it again to say my name is john c and you come and write it again my name is steve you know you don't need to do all this okay and this works but it's not efficient if you're writing a really complex application this is not really efficient so i want to quickly turn this to a function all right so i'll come here and this is how you create a function you use a keyword called function all right give it space and you write the name of the function i'll say uh print name okay I'll you know give braces okay open bracket close bracket space then my curly brackets okay so this is how you write a function this is a function right here so the set of code that you want to repeat or the particular logic that you want to repeat or you want to use anywhere or you want to run okay when this function is called uh, has to come in between this curly you know braces and I press enter here I'll copy this code I'll put it in here and it runs in fact let me copy all of them so that you see I'll put it here and normally this is just saving this set of instructions okay if I refresh now you see that it won't work it won't work because this function has not been called or invoked okay you call it or you invoke they mean the same thing okay to invoke the function you specify the name okay as a print name now and you add you know your brackets okay like this i am telling the, the uh, program to print the names okay i'm calling the function and it works now so you see my name is amina my name is johnson my name is steve uh, that works so every time I need those set of stuff to work the set of logic or instruction I just get simply call the function again and you see you see my name is Amina printed the first set and you see the second set printed okay so that's how it works if I call it countless number of times it's still going to print the same thing so instead of me coming by myself to write uh, consider log, consider log, consider log. You understand? You see the advantage of functions. This is just one advantage of you know functions. And you see that when I call the function, it prints the same stuff. Okay. Now I want it to be dynamic. I want it to print. My name is Amina. My name is Johnson. My name is Steven. Each time I call, I want a different type of you know res response i want a customized message okay so how does that work functions can accept something called parameters okay now you pass values as arguments into a function okay using parameters okay or arguments whatever um i don't want to focus on you know the difference between both now because i don't want to confuse you on this um particular you know video what i want to do is just to introduce you to the concept of functions and how you can use them in another video i'm going to differentiate what arguments mean and what parameters mean they actually mean to you know different stuff but what you should know now is that you can pass values into a function when you are calling them okay so that's how it works now 
how do you do it i'll remove this call and simply while declaring the function while creating the function i will come in between these braces and i'll say i'll need you to pass in something called the name okay the name this is you know a parameter that i require now it will be passed in as an argument all right so i'll say passing the name so what do i do i'll do something called concatenation that's adding two things together so i'll say console.log name this string plus whatever is passed in as name all right this comes here so i get rid of these lines all right so what do i do now i just say print name open bracket and say string amina that's amina save when i print i get my name is amina okay now when i come here again i can say print name again but this time what you should print as my name should be tochi and uh, when i refresh sorry when i refresh i have my name is tochi okay so you can do this and you would agree with me that this is more customized okay i can say blessing and you know like that whenever i call it i pass in a value that value is used inside the function and i get my result printed on the screen okay now this is one way to write a function and we can have many you know number of parameters you know required uh, stuff that will be passed in like say comma age comma uh, size you know just like that so i could come here and say uh, my name is plus name i can say plus um plus age years so a string now yes old okay what i'm doing here is really simple my name is whatever is passed in as name comes here so let's say my name is amina okay i'll put a full stop here all right um whatever i pass in as age comes here plus age years old okay so that's what i'm doing here once you save and um, you pass in your values here so you say comma what we need next according to how it's defined is the age so i say 12 okay and what we need next is the size i can see you know slim sorry if that doesn't apply it's okay so i'll come here same command let everybody be 12 years old please okay so once i call this i have you know my name is amina i'm 12 years old you see that this is what is passed in and if we capture the size you will capture this size you will see that the size will also you know come out so let me remove it since we're not capturing it uh, let me get it out of the function all right so this is how it works okay so i can format this better and we have this printed okay so you can customize this function okay you can also return values from functions all right so let me show you uh, something that uh, would be um, very useful okay so i can say function add numbers and i can say first number num one num two then come here and say return num one plus num two all right now when you call this function it doesn't print anything on the screen it just returns a value all right so let me show you how it works if i say add numbers five comma six we're expecting this function to return 11 because 11 is the result of adding five plus six as we specified here return it okay return the result from adding num one num two this should return 11. if i refresh you see you don't see 11 anywhere all right now note that this function is not working because i did not invoke it i did not call it i'm only calling 
numbers and numbers is not printing anything why because there is no instruction to print anything on the console we just told it to return a value now the value is nowhere to be found because we have to store the return value somewhere we have to save it somewhere we have to catch it somewhere we have to you know have a way to reference that value so for now we're not referencing it anywhere so i'll just quickly create a variable called result and i'll say equals to so whatever add numbers would would bring back or would return would be stored in the variable called result okay and now we can say console.log result all right so how do you interpret this program now uh, you interpret it thus call the function add numbers using this as the first number this as the second number and we know that that would cause an addition and return a value so this would evaluate to the result of this operation which should be 11 so all we have here now is 11 and result so we are storing 11 to result this is simple variable you know uh, assignment and we're going to print out the content of the result variable and if I save this like this uh, you know that we will get a result of 11 all right so now let me bring back our, our function so this is evaluating to 11 and this should still print 11 all right that's 11 if I change this to 10 we should expect 16 as our result and I don't know pretty is taking time to work okay pretty is a code formatter that i installed you know on my editor and it's what that's what's causing this i just cancel it and refresh i see we have 16 all right so 10 plus 6 is 16 and that's what's being printed out so functions are powerful okay we can do a lot with functions a lot that i wouldn't want to cover uh, in this particular video in order for you not to get you know confused but I promise to leave a description okay a link in the description of this video uh, so that you can learn further and uh, if time permits uh, I would you know do another video uh, for more you know deeper uh, concepts you know regarding functions all right thank you so much for your time leave your comments uh, you below leave your questions and uh, see you next time bye